What's up, fight fans? Welcome to Triple THS. I'm the Don Rickles of MMA, Tommy Toho. On today's show, Bone screws up, Nick Diaz gets suspended, and the Strike Force Grand Prix comes to a big fat close. Plus a viewer comment of the week. Let's do this shit! <laughs> Bush Sr. was president, I was playing Super Metroid, and parachute pants were still cool when the Strike Force Heavyweight Grand Prix began. The tournament that features some of the biggest names in MMA finally came to a close Saturday when Black Fedor stomped the shit out of Josh Barnett for five rounds. With the win, Cormier becomes the heavyweight champ at Strike Force, which is pretty much as relevant at this point as being the mayor of your local Walmart on Foursquare. The card also saw the third epic battle between Gilbert Melendez and Josh Thompson. Bout had more eye pokes than a Three Stooges marathon on A&E, and ended up in a controversial split decision win for the champ. A lot of fans, including me, want to see these two fight until it ends with a decisive victory. My suggestion, hell in a cell, anything goes, Undertaker special guest referee. My buddy Nick Diaz can't catch a break. After catching three tons of shit for skipping out on a BJJ match and losing an interim title bout to Carlos Condit, the NSAC dropped the hammer on Diaz over his positive marijuana test in February and suspended the Stockton native for one whole year. With some time off from fighting, Nick might be able to pursue some other worthy projects. My suggestion, each under Privileged kids had to talk shit, become a greeter at the Stockton Walmart, write the Great American Novel, prank call GSP, or become a regular on the Joe Rogan Podcast. They'll probably just smoke a lot of pot and compete in triathlons. Hope you fight again someday, Nick. What a shitty time to be Dana White. First, your heavyweight title contender gets caught with more testosterone in him than China to cast a Jersey Shore and sliced alone. Then UFC on Fox 3 catches shit from the press for low ratings. And now the poster child of the UFC smashes his Bentley into a telephone pole. John Jones, who was arrested for suspicion of DUI afterwards, crashes Bentley while driving in a residential area around 5 a.m. Sunday morning. As you can imagine, the shitstorm has been brewing for some time now. Now, and haters and nuthuggers alike have hunkered down for a fight. To hopefully clear some of this up, I've asked John to come on the show. Champ, how you doing? God is good. Okay, what exactly happened on Sunday morning, John? What were you doing out there that late? First, I just want to say how literally sickened I've been by my haters trying to kick me while I'm down. You literally sickened, so like you puked? Yeah, it was gross. Seriously though, what the hell happened? Okay, I know it may look bad, but what actually happened is I was leaving a really early church service with Tim Tebow, and I'm driving home and there was a box full of puppies and kittens in the middle of the road. So it was either murder puppies and kittens, or take the pole. I took the pole. Um, okay. Well, John, that, that story sounds a little hard to believe. I mean, maybe you're just a normal person who makes dumbass decisions like everybody else. Like I said before, the reason UFC sponsored me is because they wouldn't have to worry about me getting a DUI. John, you just got a DUI. Yeah, I fucked up. See, John, when you stop acting like you're a saint, you can just be yourself and people will stop giving you so much shit. Look at Derek Jeter. That guy could crash his Bentley into the Christmas tree in Rockefeller Plaza and people wouldn't give a shit. He jeets. You're right. From now on, I'm done with the facade. All you haters can just bite me. There you go, champ. You're getting there. I'd work on the trash talk a little bit, but you're getting there. Good luck in court. In addition to speaking with John, I've asked other prominent members of the MMA community what they thought of the Jones situation. They've asked that their names be changed and their identities concealed. I was not impressed by his driving performance. What a fucking dumbass or whatever. See your grace you just- E. Jones was a... was a no smart. <laughs> Man, turn my blurry shit off. <laughs> Viewer comment time. This week's winner should probably brush his teeth. Take it away, Johnny. It's time for the viewer comment of the week. This week's comment comes to us from Stew Dog for Life, who said about last week's show, I think I just puked in my mouth a little. Should always have a bucket nearby when watching the show, Stew Dog. And congratulations on being the viewer comment of the week. Say something funny or interesting in the comments below, and you might just be featured on the viewer comment of the week. That's all we got for you today, fight fans. Tune in next Wednesday when I paint a fence with Tim Sylvia. Till then, follow me on Twitter or check me out on my brand new Facebook page. Be sure to visit the MMA Movement.com for the latest in MMA for people just like you. For everybody at Triple THS, I'm Tommy Toehold reminding you, don't drink and drive. Thanks, Tommy. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. Tommy Toehold!